Alrighty then, good afternoon everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some uh, Wind Forge. Uh, this is a game I actually showed quite a bit of back when its original uh, alpha stages, as it was uh, making its way towards release. And now it is a full and completely released game on uh, Steam for, I believe it's still cheap right now if I'm not mistaken. Here, let me double check. Let me double check the store page here. Also, I should probably install Planet Explorers while I'm at it, which is also now on Steam. That song. But yes, it is... Yeah, thirteen fifty right now. It's not too bad. And even when it goes up to full price, it's going to be 15 bucks For, you know, a good full game, that's actually pretty damn good. So I'm going to be doing a full-on Let's Play on this from the beginning to end, as it were. Uh, so if you don't want any spoilers, you know, go spend some 15 bucks and pick up the game. It's a pretty awesome little game. So let's start up a new game here. Careful around spinning propellers. They chop and... Well, we'll chop you up, I should say. Our modern way of life on Corius is reliant on refined whale oil. Everything. No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh no, that's terrible. I can't do that voice anymore. Or at least not right now. I need to work on my. I need to work on my. Uh, on my Deckard Kane. Need to listen to that a bit longer. Anyway, everything from the machines we use to the food we eat is ultimately dependent on oil. We are so hungry for oil that our once abundant population of whales is dwindling. Also, it's probably a little too loud. Let me fix that. Cut that down by half. There we go. At the current rate we are harvesting whales, this noble species faced certain extinct, uh, extinction within a few short years. To avoid falling back into the age of isolation, we need a new source of energy. It is said that the ancient people named the uh, Etherkin had exotic sources of energy. Energy bound uh, beyond anything we have ever seen before. Unfortunately, research into the Etherkin is strictly forbidden by law and taboo. And has been re you've been secretly hired to uncover the ancient energy source and attempt to save our way of life. These guys don't like me for that. So yeah, name... Silver Dragon, of course. Name, male. I also go female if I'm so desired. Let's see. And of course, my favorite thing about it is you have blue hair. Hometown. Uh, Wurstein determines your occupation. Butcher. Prospector. Highly prized profession, sustained exposure to environmental hazards, dust and glass, gases have affected your natural vitality. Uh, Wurstrom, sailor. Long days of work adventuring produce a natural vitality in the enemy of the landlocked, li or of the landlocked uh, life on an airship has affected your legs, making you more clumsy on solid ground. Merchant, butcher, prospector, and of course I gotta go prospector, cause you know, that's just the way it's gotta be. So we'll go prospector. Approved. Approval stamp, done. All right, let me turn this up a little bit more now. There we go. That's better. All right. That was unintended. Ah, uh, Karin. That rune should be the one that uh, Thora told us about. Check it out and see if you can find the translation tablet. All right, let's go on through here. Woo! Jump. So I can right click to use this little grappling hook which I can use to swing myself around if I so desire. I can equip this lovely little drill here to make my way inside which of course it tells me the jackhammer. I guess I should lower that a little bit, whoops. That was unintended. I meant to go to the options. Lower the effects down a little bit. Might be a bit loud. There we go. Better. Much better. Shouldn't uh, shouldn't be able to not hear me now. <laughs> All right. Whoop. Break that. Right here we have our little one of our wildlife. Unfortunately, my aim is apparently terrible. Got him. Got some shog meat. Can hop on down here. Got some rifle ammo there. Ooh, what have we got? Lifestone fragment. And oh no! Little trap here. Got some runic platforms out of that. So everything you see in the world you can dig and collect. Let me collect out here. Got him. 
Got a little bit of money in that chest. Leather. Nice. I can use that to make some things. Jump. Open up. Ooh, wow, that's good money. Good money. I wonder if this still does super damage to that thing. It does. Oh, although it explodes now, which causes damage to you if you do that. Interesting. That is new. So they did find a solution to that. For the longest time, literally, a lot of these ruins weren't much of a threat because of the well, ruined defenses weren't much of a threat because you could just run up to them with the with the drill and it's done. Ah, oh, delicious! You destroyed it, but now they've added it, made it so that it can be added. It explodes when destroyed. So if you do decide to try and go at it with a drill, it's gonna be uh, you know hurting you for it. So you pay the price. You can do some really, really interesting. Oh shit! I woke up the beast. Close the door. Quick tab. Check my inventory. Please tell me I have a rifle. I do not. Oh bollocks. Oh hell! Yeah! Nice, he had a life stone gem in him. Basilisk meat and a bunch of other good stuff there. I've got this odd warning symbol here. I'm not sure exactly what it means. Possibly that my ship is under attack or something. I'm not sure. But we're almost done here anyway, so we'll collect that. Collect the rifle ammo. Get on down here. And we're out of here. Run away! Dig away in my case. Quickly. Go, go, go. Run! Made it out. I've never made it out before that happens. What the hell's happening? Oh shit! What's happening? Oh, we're going down! We're going down, man! We're going to frack down! Oh shit! Oh, cool! Actually, it actually goes to loading the X area before it does this time. For a second, I was worried I broke the game. <laughs> Massive explosion from the nearby ruins rips through your ship, destroys your electronics beyond repair. As your ship spirals downwards out of control, you brace yourself for impact. Ooh, slam it! Oh, we're on fire. That's unfortunate. We hit the ground pretty hard. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for asking. God, it was worded. Ship wasn't so lucky, though. Nope. We need to repair the ship and get out of here. Take this repair tool, repair the balloon, and all that good stuff, and then we can get the hell out of here. So I have the tablet here. I do have a hunting rifle now, so I'll equip that. Actually, I'll swap that around with this guy. Or even the knife as well. Uh, I always put the repair tool at the very far end. So we'll repair the balloon. Literally, the, it doesn't really cost us anything to repair it. You just kind of select it. Oh, I just got my first achievement. Grease Monkey. Yay! And you can do the same with everything else here. Any, so anything that you build on this is just a quick snap, snap, repair. And you're done. It's all back to normal again. Which is a good thing. Although it's a shame it doesn't really cost anything to do. But, you know, if it did, you'd be, you know constantly f mining and foraging just to be able to keep your ship in one piece. <laughs> so yeah, I can talk to her again. Ah, uh, good, we're able to repair the balloon okay, but all of our electronics are broken beyond repair. It's going to be a lot of work to get the ship flyable again. We're going to have to make the rest of the ship components from scratch. A lot of the parts of the ship will need refined metals, so we're going to need a smelting furnace. You can craft a smelting furnace by using a workstation. You can use the one on the second floor of the ship by using a workstation and selecting the smelting furnace recipe. You'll see what ingredients you need to gather. Build a smelting furnace, and we're ready for the next step. So let's head on down here. We can kind of see what we need. <coughs> Excuse me. Workstation. Here we go. Smelting furnace requires stone brick blocks and wood blocks. So we whip out our little mining pick. Head outside. And we just chop down this tree here. Whoa! Quickest grab. It worked a lot faster than I thought it would. 
So, in order to get our bricks, you want to just kind of dig into this wall here. Now, I don't have to dig in this wall here. Actually, let me lower it down a little bit more. There we go. Uh, but, well, I, you know, in order to get the blocks, I would have to dig around somewhere, but I'm also going to dig around underneath here, just so that I'll be able to uh, get underneath here when I eventually get the other parts. Oops, let me repair that. I destroyed that by mistake. So I'll need to be able to attach some items down below here, so it's good to make a little path underneath. So, you know, two birds, one stone kind of thing, you know? There was one, uh, I actually used to talk to the dev uh, quite a bit as well when it came to some of the stuff in the de development here. And one of the things I actually personally asked for uh, was a way to store some cargo. And uh oh, I'll have to destroy that temporarily while I remove some of this. Okay, we have our way underneath. So I hope we did add storage chests so that we can store our stuff. Because you always end up having just such a ridiculous amount of items on you that you just don't have space for the things. So it'd be good to have some chests to store a lot of stuff in. Let's see if they added any. Item stash. Here we go. Safe place to store items you don't want to carry with you. So they did do it. Yay! Oh, what awesome devs. I am happy that they did that. Okay, let's create this thing. So we have the smelting furnace. Go talk to her about the next step. Should be able to have the tools we need to make the components now. Our balloon will make our ship more buoyant, but we'll need propellers to make it move. We're going to need one propeller to move us vertically, and another to move us horizontally. Propellers will need power though, so we're going to need at least two, one engine. Finally, to control the ship, we need a control panel. I'll make the propellers and the engines. You can make the control panel. I saw an old mine off to the left. You'll need to find the ore to craft with. Talk to me once the control panel is done, and we'll put the ship back together. Alright, so I'm going to spend a lot of time doing some mining here, so bear that in mind. <laughs> Alright, go down to the very bottom here, smelting furnace. And we'll smack this guy down right here. Just build her up. So yeah, this is kind of like Terraria styled in a way of its gameplay. But then we also have, you know, sky whales and all kinds of sweet things. Giant monsters to fight. Krakens. Sky Krakens. To go with our sky whales. Got him. Got him. Oh, there's one inside, too. Got him. Okay, let's make our way inside. Yeah, we can see the craft is over on our right there. Did he drop any meat or nothing? Nope. This is it. So we'll head on over here. Okay, we're safe. Usually he hides in here and he doesn't show up until we actually get over here. We have a little copper here to mine. There's a whole lot of materials we can find. And I'm seeing, oh, mining is a lot faster than it was before. So they've definitely refined their coding, to say the least, when it comes to mining. So things have been sped up significantly than what they previous were, previously were, I should say. Woo! Good job, devs. Oh shit, ow! That hurt. Got him. It's like, yeah, why'd you just do you killed a random civilian? But no, he wasn't a civilian. He was an evil. He was an evil man trying to murder me. At least he would have murdered me. But I murdered him first, so you know. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. Break that. It's kinda. Oh. Now the unfortunate part is it doesn't make a different sound anymore. They used to uh, they made it so that the metal previously had a different sound to it than the rest of the rock that you were mining. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, which is unfortunate because then now I don't know exactly what is steel or not steel, what is iron. Once they change the texture on iron, well, I'd hope so, otherwise I'll be boned. Alright, let's go see what we have on the left flank here. Got 
Got him. Darn shogs. Ah, there it is. They, the dark. You can tell the the iron is a much darker color. Just gotta be patient. So we have a little nice little vein of iron right here. But it's just that slight color difference though between it, so it's hard to tell what's iron and what's not. Oh well, hopefully they'll add that back eventually. Or makes that sound. Even though it, it could have been that it could have been from complaints that maybe the sound was annoying or too loud or something. I'm not sure. But it was personally a feature that I liked. Yeah, it's all the iron we got here. Woo! Oh, I was gonna try and just whip my way in here, but nope. Yeah, it's stone. Oh shit. There's some iron. I think, I hope. A little bit at least. Got him. Silly shog. No silver t no silver treats for you. Alright, let's pick up the rest of the stuff here. There we go. There's definitely some iron up here. So I'm trying to mine my way up towards it. I need as much of this stuff as I can get. Eventually you can get better pickaxes as well. I know there was a diamond pick as well. You know, kind of Minecraft-esque like that in a way. Working your way up towards them diamond tools. Whoop! Come on, baby. There we go. Made it up. So I pretty much made a little platform for myself so I could get up here and get all this copper. It's quite a nice vein of copper. Alright, now we'll just dig this away. And down we go. Grab the rest of the copper and let's go. A little bit of iron down here. Break this guy open. Get some rifle ammo. Now this cave, I don't know if it's just like a hideout for bandits or what, but it has a whole lot of stuff inside of it. Little items and such just laying around in those smashable crates. Or debris piles. And you can find all kinds of stuff in it. I'm hoping to find some extra propellers. Other engines are in there as well. And all kinds of stuff. Hot air balloons I used to find during the alpha stages. Not sure what they have now, but we'll find out. And I'll be heavily modifying my ship as we go along. Whoa, what a big drop we have here. So we just found a new cavern. So it seems like this thing is much slower in mining uh, ore, or iron ore, than it is copper and everything else. Man, I love that thing. A little bit of money here. Some nuts. Break that open. More money. Eve. There we go. Keep me in here. There we go. Whee! Oh, I love that rope. It's so fun. Just to swing around with the thing. Of course, any bad swinging, and you'll probably end up falling down the, uh, <laughs> falling off the world. But if you do survive the fall, you can actually call for your, uh, somebody to come pick you up. So if you do get separated from your vehicle, it's not the end of the world once you get the radio. Unfortunately, I do not yet have the radio, so it would be in my best interest not to fall off the world. Healing bomb, nice. I don't see any metal here. Except for this copper. So I'll probably start heading out of here in a second. Which is 
mine up some of this copper ore. And the type of material you would use to build your ship, whether it be the stone brick or the wood, will actually make a difference in the weight and ability, you know, uh, abilities of your ship. If it's too heavy, it's going to really be sluggish and hard to move. Did I miss some iron ore? Unacceptable. There we go. Oh, frack. Ouch. Got him. Whew. That hurt, though. Guy nearly had me. Crude wooden propeller. There we go. It is one of the items. So let's make our way through here. We have a bit of a cave-in up ahead. So let's try and get our way. There we go. Around it. There's some iron right up here in the ceiling. I'll get as much of it as I can. I do like that they made it that nice dark blue. There we go. Apart from being one of my favorite colors, cough. You can just tell that you can tell the difference between it and the uh, stone a lot easier now. Bit of sulfur up there. Smash that open. Got a bit of money there. A little bit of iron. I'll take that with me. All right, let's keep going. I don't want to slow boat it too much. Bronze engine, sweet. Ooh, this is a lot of iron right here. Because, of course, one iron doesn't necessarily equal one iron bar. So you do want to have a lot of this iron if you can get it. As much as you can get from here. And you'll find ore scattered around in all the different floating islands as well. Alright, good enough for me. Woohoo! Hello, rubber gloves. Getting there, getting there. There's a lot of iron up here, but I'm not going to mess around with it too much. That should be good. If I wanted to, I could mine down towards it from here, but meh. Let's get going, shall we? A little bit of money, crude wooden propeller, some more money. Here's a little bit of iron right here. There we go, I managed to get myself a little niche I can work my way through here with. Perfect. But I'm starting to get a little overweight. No, I still got 300 or 200 or der, 300 maximum weight, about 150 left to go before I max it out and can't carry anymore. Oh wow, this is a good amount of iron here. Pick it all up. Alright, break that open. Yeah, here's hoping I can find myself a nice sky whale. I want to harvest him. Alright, this way. Make them a look, taking a little quick look around, making sure I don't miss nothing. Here we go. Almost missed this giant pile of iron. I think I've actually got more iron than I have copper at this point, which is not necessarily a good thing, but, you know, iron is a slightly more important material. But copper is still valuable as well, in and of itself, so I shouldn't abandon any copper if I can. So I do need especially copper for the control unit. There we go. Pick all that up and let's get going. Rifle ammo, handgun ammo, and we made it to the surface. Let's just dig our way through. Make ourselves a new path up to the surface.
And we're free. Cotton. Whoops. Get some wooden blocks. But I'm actually looking around for the cotton, because with the cotton I can make something down the road that I need. It's important. Get the berries here. There we go. Get some additional cotton. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Charge! We've destroyed enough mother enough of Mother Nature, I'd say. There's that cotton. Beautiful. Alright, let's head inside. Go down to our new smelting station and make use of it. Cloth. Toolkit. Here we go, smelting furnace. So we need bronze ingots, which we take the copper. It would be it would be better if we had some tin, but apparently we just craft copper directly into bronze. So I'll just make a bunch of that. We'll make a bunch of the iron ingots. Definitely needs a craft all button. Need a couple of those, and we can make the ship control panel. Nice. I think it was a balloon that I needed the cotton for. Yep. Turn cloth into that, and you can make the balloons. Unfortunately, you need a lot of cotton. Yo, girl, I'm done. Let's look at everything we need to rebuild our ship now. Uh, here are the propellers that I crafted. Do you want to refresh on how a ship works before you get started? No, I'm good. No, if you need any help. I am good on that. So let me go tab here. We'll pull up the ship control panel. The crude iron propellers. The steam engine. The other propellers that I picked up. And we have these rubber gloves. Let me take a look at them. Hand protection. Well, I've got nothing, so I might as well use them. Okay. So we want to put down the ship controls first, so we'll just pop those down like right here, you know. Right there works. Next we need to drop down our engines. These are not our engines. We have quite a few of them. And lastly we toss on our new lovely engines here, or lovely engines are, uh, propellers. Quick learner achievement earned. Nice. The more you have in a particular direction, the more force will be exerted and the faster you'll go. Now that I have these all set up, all I really need to do is head up top. It'll let me. I'm actually moving the ship by bumping into it, which I find hilarious. Gotta kind of control the ship. Use the WASD controls or keys to move. Whoops, we damaged the balloon a little bit. And let's move out my repair tool here and repair this a little bit. And there we go, we're good to go. All right, ship is working now. We need to get to uh, what was it Engelstrom and talk to Thora. Might be a good idea to add more propellers to make the ship faster for our trip. Here we go. Just let me go downstairs for this. Come on. Nope, I don't want to place it there. We're good. We're good to go. Let me close the door. Okay. So I can press tab, click on quest to see my map. Back to the Eagle of Strom. Or I just hit M for my map really. So Eagle Strom is I actually wish I could zoom in a little bit more, but basically it's just two tiles to my right. Which I can see by the actual tracking logo here. So we're gonna head that way. Whoa, the ship is fast. Probably because it's so lightweight. 
So we're just gonna keep pressing straight, and it's going because he's going super speed. He's actually sliding backwards. <laughs> it's kind of funny the physics cause her to slide backwards like that. There's an enemy right there. Oh, hello, that's new. Interesting. I've never seen this before. This is new to me. Okay, I'm checking this out. Let's lower myself to a good position. This will be good. Okay. Work my way down. Ow, hurt myself a little bit. Okay, looks like we have some lodging here. Interesting. What do we have here? Search that. We got a radio recipe book. So we found the recipe for the radio. Which is what allows me to recall or, you know, call in assistance. Pretty much we teleport. Teleport to town with the ship. What the fuck? That's a new critter. I don't know what the hitbox is on that thing, though. It looks like it ran away after I damaged it enough. Die, critter! So it seems like the best weapon to fight them is actually my, uh... There we go. Is actually my, uh, what the hell is it called? Drill. Oddly enough. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Hostile. There we go. I'm assuming it looks like enemies are just spawning in this area in order to attack me. Just kind of mine this to get the hell out of here. Woo! Just kind of shooting myself over here. Ooh, I probably want. I want to see what's up here actually. There we go. So we have a little lockbox here with some healing bomb and a hunting rifle. And another workbench. I don't think I can break it and take it with me though, so we'll get out of here and check the other side. And see what we got in this place. No ladder to get up here. A little trap room. Not really much else here, it looks like. Alright, let's get out of here. Get back on the ship. Get back to the ship! Nope. You have to jump for it! Okay, close the door, close the hatch. Should be nice and secure in the hatch. Ooh, actually, wait. Like something's been damaging our engines here. Let's repair that. Or maybe it's just the color of the wooden engines. Whoops. Brought worse recipe book. Okay. Whoops. Run away. Well, let me close the door so I don't have anything flying into here. Whoa, this thing is fast. Not to mention, it seems to be spawn heaven for these things. Alright. Well, we're making our way to the right. At full speed. 
which seems we're a bit slower for some reason. Oh well, we're making our way to the edge. Indeed, the bottom of the world is filled with a poisonous gas. So unless you have a gas mask, you can't go there. Alright, port is just over to the right here. Here we go. Alright, let's open up. Need to head to the lab. You should bring that tablet to Thora. Should be one of the big red universities in the East Eaglestrom. Alright. Whee! Hey, yo. I like to manage one of my ships. I can rename it, I can save it, I can scrap it. I can check all the bookshelves around towns for the uh, recipes. find all sorts of stuff just scattered around town. You can find these various trainers throughout towns that will train you in certain types like, say, Vitality. Blue Explorer Pants. And you can just find all this junk around town. So I'm gonna run around town just looking for this junk. Bronze Engine, Rubber, Running Shoes. A little bit of ammo. I don't necessarily care about the ammo. I got tons. But all the other stuff? Hell yeah. Ooh, armor plated, SOC armor plated boots. That's a good find. Greetings. I saw a shog this morning. Disgusting creatures. Well, maybe you're the disgusting creatures. Maybe they have a secret shog civilization. Then what, buddy? Then what? So I want to use all these here so I learn those recipes. Yeah, rubber running shoes. Armor of four, resistance of uh, chemical resistance, and an agility bonus of six. Armor of 15. I'd rather take the armor-plated boots. Alright. Let's grab that. This guy has strength training. Now, if I actually... With all these stats, if I go to my personal stats, I can see what I have here for that agility, and I can see the bonuses I would acquire if I actually, you know, like, got it up to the next level. So another 20 points of agility, and I'd have break fall, cuts damage you take from falling in half, double jump, super jump, and quadruple jump. So you can jump in the air four times by pressing the jump button, which is kind of cool. Uh, strength, we have faster mining, so I do really want that. Double knockback, doubles the knockback you apply from any melee weapons. Faster mining is always good. Wisdom, we have uh, pilot, expert crafting. Most of the items you craft will be quality items. Uh, then the interesting ones for wisdom as well, beast tamer and beast master. You can actually tame beasts. Allows you to tame and control small and medium semi-intelligent creatures with your grappling hook. To tame a creature, attach a grappling hook and stand on its back for five seconds. Allows you to tame large semi-intelligent creatures with your grappling hook. Such as a whale. You could possibly tame a whale. Uh, vitality, though, I believe is the one I want to do because it'll actually increase the hit points I receive from eating food and especially improved endurance. Increases the uh, pack capacity by 100. So I can have more junk on me. But all these are things that I can upgrade possibly or just by training and I think other there are other methods, but training is the one I know of. Urch. Well, I have to go throughout town afterwards anyway, so I might as well just go finish her objective first. 
Them creepy men of the church. Actually, hold up, 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 hold up. So Thor is actually up here, I think. We're not up there. Down, 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 down. Actually, isn't this Thora? Yeah, that was Thora. Let me in. You have the translation tablet, I do. This text is amazing. We This we can st start making some real progress. Here's your payment for getting this. There's a huge uproar among the SOC right now. Apparently they're offering huge rewards for anyone who can bring them to the people that desecrated their temple. We need to be very careful they don't find out about us. Tell me what actually happened at the temple where you found this. Really, I never realized something like that was even possible. The Etherkin's technology must have been even more amazing than we can possibly imagine. If we can unlock the secrets of it, we can change the world. But it'll take some time for you to decipher this tablet. In the meantime, we should prepare for the worst. We have a secret facility with which we are conducting our research. Let me, one second here. It's here in Eaglestron. Look for a wooden hatch in the ground in the bottom right of town. Look for our research head, Welther. Should be able to provide you some gear to help you defend yourself. Alright. We gotta go find the research head then. While I'm here though, I might as well search all this stuff. Oil storage recipe, sticky grenade recipes, frag grenade recipes, jackhammer recipe, combat knife recipe, flak jacket recipe, gas tank recipe, recipe after recipe. I don't like the hatches as much though, they just seem to get in the way. So I'm going to be designing my ship so that, if I can, so that it's, uh, it has head space, enough space so that I can move around and walk around it properly each level, and uh, some other things with it as well. You know, now the SOC are catching on, we need to stay in here in the lab and handle security. If you need any extra edge in combat, you should talk to the friend of mine, uh, Lars von Alderstein. He's an expert with weapon mods, should be able to teach you a few tricks to help you out. His shop is in Alderstein, tell him I sent you, he owes me a favor. So, Elderstein. Ah, there's a Temple of Language up there. We were at the... That's where we were at before, the Temple of Language in our shipwreck. Wooden propeller and some rifle ammo. Alright, we gotta go find... Uh, ooh, conveyor platform. I've never seen that. That's a new recipe. Greetings, Walter. My calculation is correct. These changes should be able to effing blow the breaches off a. Hmm, well, I didn't see you there. I'm Walter, the lead researcher around here. Uh, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, yes, you're going to need a lot. Uh, things are going to be a lot more compl complicated now that the effing SOC are starting to take notice. I, I can help you out with these machine gun. T take these machine gun turrets and place them on your ship. You should help defend yourself while flying your ship. I'm also giving you a radio. If you get stuck somewhere, you can use it to call out for help. Anyway, feel free to explore facilities here. Just be effing careful in the testing area below. You might also want to talk to Wilhelm about in the lab upstairs. You have a few special research projects in his queue you might find interesting. Once you're done, just check back with Thora and see if she's done with the translation tablet. I will! My effing brother. But now. Alright. Check that out. Pastor, sewing machine recipe. Greetings. Hi, I'm Wilhelm. I'm here to help you out with uh, Walter's energy research. I also have a number of special projects on the go I could really, that could indirectly help us. Our research is not necessarily uh, legal, but it definitely is cutting edge. I'm actually making good progress in the Etherkin's uh, elixir research. I just need some help making one and testing it. Sure, I'll help you out. Great, just copy the recipe. All I need to do is create one of these elixirs and bring it back to me. 
All right, let's take a look at the recipe and see what we got here. Should probably use all these too. There we go. Now I know all those. There's the machine gun turrets that I can add to the ship for some defense. Okay, craft. Dismantle tool, capacitors, frag grenades. Conveyor platform, which seems interesting. Requires a lifestone. This is an elixir of strength, so it actually gives me strength. Just need a little sulfur. Great, you made the Ethican elixir. I'll take a small sample of it and you can have the rest. It's probably safe to drink, but it will take me a long time to know for sure. Or we can find out right now if you drink it. Sure. Working on improved hydrogen based blowtorch. Sure, I'll help out. I already made the prototype this one. All you need to do is get me some hydrogen to use as a fuel. I think 50 units of hydrogen should be sufficient. Hmm. The elixir of strength. Permanently increases strength to 20. Okay, let's see. What do I need for crafting hydrogen? Hydrogen. So I require water. How the hell do I get water? Also, they have a turret in here. Just saying. That is the one downside to this to this game is that it doesn't really explain it's like well okay you need hydrogen but you're not explaining to me how I'm supposed to collect water to make you hydrogen that's probably the only real downside of the game is a lot of the, lot of the stuff that would be really important to be explained is not explained I wonder how he's doing I have not had a chance to talk to Lars as I'm kind of here and not in Alderstein, so yeah. If we talk to this guy, he might have some water for me. General store. What does he have? He has titanium speed armor boots. Oh, wow. Damn, that's probably expensive as hell. Oh, god, yeah. Flak jacket. Inflation gloves. Rubber pilot's helmet. Wisdom bonus. Power gloves, emerald scale steel gangster pants. <laughs> uh, power leg recipe book, exoskeleton. 25k just for the recipe. That is expensive! Crap, finding it difficult getting my head through here. So she's a gallery. She sells portraits. Shog attack painting and all this kind of stuff. So basically decorative items. Carry on. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You can't reach it. Build a bridge. What do you got for me, good sir? Oh, wow. Spike wood block recipes. Ship starting frame recipe book. Speaker recipe, iron support blocks, couple propellers, a scope. Lenses at both ends allow you to see much further than the naked eye. Ooh. Yeah, I want that. Background, window recipe. I'll buy that. Reinforced wood block recipe book. Armor plated block. I'll buy that one.
All right, let's pull up my window here and use both of those so I now have those. All right, let's keep going, shall we? Alright, we'll make our way through here. Pretty sure I already opened. Nope. Iron spike recipe. Flat gloves recipe. Search those for some items. I just love that I can just walk right through here and take all their stuff and nobody says a damn thing. Oil barrel recipe. Plate armor recipe. Carry on. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Antidote recipe, first aid kit recipe, healing balm recipe, breathable air tank recipe. How to create a breathable air tank, probably quite useful. However, I'll hold off on that for now. Whoops. We'll equip that scope. Do I not have any head armor? I do not. I'll have to find some. Whoa, let's unequip that scope. It's a little bit too far away, son. Whoa, it's like it's nice, but I don't want to see that far away. I kind of need to be able to, uh, you know, look towards something. Wait, excuse me, good sir, while I shatter all of your items around here. All your properties. Forgive my crudeness. What do we have here? Artillery ammo. This guy's the gun shop for the ship. Combat knife, sticky grenade, contact grenade. Furnish, uh, what was it? Vinewurst recipe book. Artillery ammo, heavy machine gun ammo. I'm good right now, but thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, fuck! And I died. Go to town. Sink to a world of darkness. Ouch. The funny thing is you can actually latch onto people and drag them away. Oh Jesus, I sent her running. No! Don't! Get back! Back! Get back here, I need you! I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that, but you must stay in one place. That is your job. I caused the dock manager to freak the F out. <laughs> Oh, well, let's get out of here then. Jump! But now I want to... Should I build up the dock and use that to... Or no, I should find my own dock, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna build my own ship dock. Down below here, where I died. I'm going to use it to edit my ship. Oops. The ship's going to be huge, so I'll put it down here. Whoa, what the hell? Ship is rising of its own violation. Weird. Anyway. All 
Alright, I should have a crap ton of dirt blocks. That I'm not going to use for anything. Runic platform, dirt blocks, 102. Not as many as I thought I'd have. Alright. Nope, she's falling apart. So it won't work me out of that. So it has to be made out of wood then. I'll take that cotton. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bother building anything too complex because honestly, I'm just going to be... building this thing quickly anyway. Alright. No, there's nothing good here. I will collect all the cotton, though. That this rock provides. There we go. Beautiful. Actually, wait, I think I could even do this. Let me check here. Nope. This place has quite a few bits that are destroyed. Whatever. Or mined out, which makes sense. It is right around town, so I'd expect that. But anyway, let's keep going here. Make our way back to the ship. Oh, that hurt a lot. I guess having fall damage would be a good idea. Let's move back a little bit then. This thing just wants to take right off, I swear. Okay, tab. Pull up the wooden block. There we go. Essentially what's happening here is I'm going to be dropping this balloon down into the ship at some point. Dismantling tool. Okay. Let's 
probably not going to do it, actually. Let's see. Okay. See, they fixed all the bugs when it comes to actually building this stuff and having stuff in the way. There we go, that kind of protects that there. Keeps it where it's not going to do us any damage. One block at a time, baby. One block at a time. And I'll probably put the turrets in there as well. Temporarily. Actually, well, now that I think about it, I might just steal another an enemy ship while I, when I get the chance. If I ever run into one here and claim it as my own. Now let's load up my inventory here, find that gun. Examine it. Power required. Power received. Power available. All that good stuff. There we go. Beautiful. So now I have these guns here that I can control if I so desire. Okay, I need background kit, or background blocks. Wooden background. Beautiful. Need more, obviously, but it's still nice to actually have that. Now, wood side windows. I'm going to have a really nice... What I essentially want is I want the balloons to be in the center and protected from any damage. While I have everything else. Uh, and I'm hoping I can put different levels between them, otherwise it's going to be interesting.
will do for now. But eventually I would like have basically everything, every part of my ship that I would use would be to the right or the left of this balloon. And then sink the whole thing down. This works good for now though. Let me go ahead and build up this thing. Item stash. Oh, it's just a little box. I was hoping for it to be like a little wardrobe or something. Put away the revolver. Titanium ingots I picked up. Put away the handgun ammo. Propellers, I'll keep the glove. I should put this bronze steam engine downstairs. Keep the radio, I'll also put it on here. I'll use that down below. Okay. Produced. Looks like we need more power. Let's see what it requires to make one of these engines. Whatever it takes to get this baby running, man. Whatever it takes. So we now have more energy than we need. Okay, good. Now, I want to go down here. And add on little landing supports for us. That works. Jump. And also put away the background tiles. Alright, so let's get going, shall we? What quest do I have? Oh yes, I gotta go see Thor for the next job. So let's get back up here then. So you see we now have turrets with a thousand ammo. Oh, we rammed into that. Ooh, and actually I do want to make more cloth. So that I can make requires rope and wood blocks and all kinds of stuff that I don't have. Damn. Let's go see Thora. Wow, the NPCs are freaking the f out. when I approach them. So I did something that causes the AI to freak out. That's hilarious. I am such a boss like that. Just I am the king of game breaking. Fear my might. You're back. I hope it didn't give you a hard time. Master to decipher the tablet he gave me. You should be able to read the ancient Aetherkin. We need to find more Aetherkin tablets so we can learn more. Apparently there are numerous temples of knowledge scattered throughout the world. The temple you explored recently was one of them. I know the location of a few more. I'll mark them on your map. I don't know what you'll find at each, but I pray you'll find... I'll pay you each generously for each one you find. Careful, though. My sources tell me the SOC might be guarding the temples now. They'll probably shoot on sight.
Doesn't tell me the temple locations though. So something's weird there. It's not showing up the what it's supposed to be showing on the map. Let me try. Oh, what the hell? Caps lock. Whales are friendly unless you attack them. Angry whales are very dangerous. Indeed they are. Angry whales will like burst through terrain and come after you. You do not want to mess with the whales if you can help it. Unfortunately, that did not fix my map. If I go for quests... Search the fire temples... Side missions. Get hydrogen, talk to Lars. There we go. So he's way over here, but luckily there's a quick way I can get to him. So I'm gonna go find that town and talk to Lars quickly. And then I'll call it for today. So let's get on board the ship. Alright. Now. Quickest way to get there would be by going to right. Whoa. There's that castle there. I haven't looted all the stuff there yet. I probably should at some point. Almost everything in the world is breakable. Oh, fuck. Or I forgot that my fucking thing isn't on there. Oh my god, Silver, you dipshit. God damn it. God damn it, Silver. Ah! You fucked up Royal, son. You fucked up Royal. I know it's also something I impressed that always uses the grappling hook, but I can't remember what it was. Poor ship got beat down. Let's repair this all up to tip top shape. Let's see. Dirt blocks, wood blocks, sand blocks. We now have some slight turret armor.
Hopefully it won't get in the way too much. I'll see when I actually get on this. Okay, good. That's no problem whatsoever. Oh fuck, sorry, 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 that wasn't intended, sorry. Fuck, run away, run away. I shot a guard. Whoops, whoops. Whoopsies. That's my bad. Too bad, too. I'm sure the enemy vessel had some good stuff on him. Okay. So, now, the interesting thing about the world as well is that when you're traveling around it... Let me load up the map here. You can actually... If you travel off one side, you'll actually come out on the other. So I want to go up one tile. And then just keep going right. So rise up a tile. They chop, suck, and blow. What the fuck? Whale! Whale! I kind of want to attack him, but... I don't want to risk the ship right now. Ah, why not? Whale down! Now he'll keep falling even through the maps layers until he hits something. At least he should. He was still going down last time I saw him, so shit, I don't see him. Shit. I think he's gone, son. No, no. I'm just gonna say he's gone and move on. Damn. Took quite a bit to take him down, too. What the fuck? Enemy ship. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. One day I'll stop being an idiot, <sighs> thinking I can just jump down and be a boss. One day. God damn it. God damn, Silver, god damn. Get off my ship. All right, up we go.
All right, let's keep going to the right now. Now that we're up one tile, we just have to keep transferring to the right, so full speed ahead from here. Oh, we got an enemy ship. Let's try to screw this one up this time. The hell? I'll take that. Take that diesel engine. And I'll take that balloon. Peace out. Clearly we're having issues here with pirates. Okay. Goodbye. So we now have the balloons I wanted. Sweet, let me find those. There they are, small hydrogen balloons. So to be a little closer here, I guess. Just kind of pop them in right here. Beautiful. Let's get out of here now. Full speed ahead, to the right. To the right, to the right now. Woohoo! Oh, Jesus. It's, oh, that's one of those guys. I don't like them. They're evil. We're just hightailing it out of here. Okay. So I've got several spaces on the right to go. So it seems like enemies spawn and despawn quite quickly within a small area around the ship. Which, I'm not as much of a fan. I wish they'd spawn a little bit faster or spawn a little bit further away. And not just despawn suddenly like that. But what can you do? Register ships with the Dockmaster to keep them forever. Hello? Whoops. This seems like the exact same design I saw last time. Can I get my ship in here a little bit? Oh wow, it got me. Really? Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> Can't even get to a bloody town without being instantly assaulted and raped by these frickin' pirate bastards. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Frack me. You know what? Let me go let me give me a second here. I got an idea. I have an idea. I have a slightly brilliant idea.
Come on. Let's build this up right here. Down a little bit if I can. There we go. Alright. And we'll pop this propeller on. Down here. And this guy will just go right here. Alright. So basically this thing's just gonna zoom to the right. Like a absolute bloody shooting star. I mean, if four engines make it go up this fast... I imagine this thing's gonna zip right like crazy. There we go, she's speeding up. Woohoo! We're not stopping, we're not fighting, we're not doing nothing but zooming away. Unless it's a whale. If it's a whale, I make the exception. But only if it's a whale. Alright. Zoom. I'm not even going to check the map until we're like four or five tiles out. This time around. Just keep zooming, man. Keep going. Charge! Oh, well. Now I want to check and make sure there's actually... There is. You can see they'll literally go through rock to get to you. Got him! Whale down! Whale down! Woohoo! I did it, Pa! Got a diesel engine inside this thing's belly, insulation, some cloth, basilisk meat, all kinds of stuff it ate. Uh-oh. Let's hope I didn't piss off the other whale. By harvesting this thing. And I can actually, if I want to, add balloons to this thing and fly around with this whale. But I need the blubber in order to make uh, oil myself, and I need things. Let's make our way inside his belly. ourselves down to scout. Take that, punk. Get off my ride. Let's make our way down through this. So you can actually have yourself a whale vessel if you so desire. Let's make our way into the brain. Meat to last us a lifetime. Oh wow, that's a new insect I've never seen before. Let's get out of here. We got our whale. I'm happy with that. You'll encounter more dangerous enemies the further you get from towns.
Down you go, boys. Down you go. Time to zoom on out of here. Full speed ahead! For the glory of the motherland! Oh, wow. I just now realized I'm down to 300 bullets, though. That sucks. That sucks. I'll have to get some more. To sell some stuff when I get to the next town. Just zip past those guys. Alright, check my map now. Okay, we're about three tiles off. After this tile, we should transition to the other side of the world. Oh, one more tile. So these are the trade winds right here. The upstream, the downstream. Or, yeah, this one's the... Luftein or something, I don't know. Either way, it allows you faster travel. Basically, the trade winds. Yeah, this is a downstream, so it's kind of trying to force me down right now. Round the world achievement. <laughs> so I'm now on the other side. I just have to keep going to the right, and I should get to town within a couple of blocks. And that's where the guy is supposed to be able to outfit me with some good items. Bomb of the world is filled with poisonous gas. Don't travel there unprepared. Well. Oh shit. We're on fire, son. Ran into a bloody whale. Let's repair all this. Wow, that was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Alright, let's keep going. It's like, oh shit, well! That's something you'll never say while driving your vehicle. Well, you know, regular vehicle. <laughs> that brings a uh, vehicular accident to a new meaning. Second, I have a freaking rat in my basement. Punk. I should almost re-add that bit there. Alright, charge! Just another tile or two over and I should have made it there. Let's see. Oh yeah, next tile. Finally! Finally made it to town. Loading area, please wait. And down we go. Oh shit! Urgh, breaks. Let me set this baby down over here. And we're good to go. Greetings! What lovely whale oil you have. Strength training. That guy does nothing. So welcome to Alderstein. Hammer drill. Interesting. Cloth foot wrappings. Ooh, cluster bomb turret recipe. That sounds awesome. Greetings. Roof blocks. All kinds of stuff. Air purifier. Ah, there we go. Rubber gas mask. Allows you to breathe for a limited time in the poison gas. Spike from the lock recipe. I guess I'll buy a rubber gas mask. Shog meat sells for two. How about meat blocks? They sell for three. Probably sell all those at some point here. So not a lot of people here have anything actually interesting to tell me. Vitality Trainer. General Store. Yeah, 
Yeah. You can buy all my meat blocks. There we go. Let's keep going. There's a hospital. Wisdom trainer. That's the apothecary. Antidotes and stuff like that. There we go. That might be the guy I'm looking for. Isaac. Oh, the oil is going to last forever. What can we do? I'm guessing that was a backer. Isaac, who got an NPC in the game. My head is currently stuck in the ceiling. Argon Krell. Yeah, it's definitely backer names. Alright. I have no idea where this guy is. Maybe he's down here in the secret laboratory. Nope, I don't know where he is. So in that case, I'm just going to call it for now and see if I can find this guy later. Yeah, I think so. We Unless he's in here. Found him, I think. Yep, welcome to the workshop. What can I do for you? Ah, Karin sent you. How's she doing? Well, I suppose I do owe her. I could show you a few tricks to modify your guns. You're gonna have to get off all get all the working materials yourself though. Let's start with something easy. Let's go get a get or get me a hunting shotgun and I'll teach you the art of making sawed off shotguns. So if I find him a hunting shotgun, he'll tell me how. Ah, well, I guess I'll deal with that later. Let me save. Overrate the save. And I'll get back to this another time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have yourselves a good one. And I will see what I can get done next time. Hunt down some more whales. <laughs> anyway, for now, peace out. Have a great one. And catch you all later. Silver Dragon out.